All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Valhelsia 3, guys. Today, we have some fun plans, but uh, first, I want to go ahead and show you guys what I've done. Um, I've finally done it, guys. I replaced the floor down here and also put up some walls. Very simple here, just some simple walls with the, the, pl the gray plastic and white plastic from Mechanism. I haven't really done more other than just put these walls and floor up down here, and it's still kind of... Don't, don't tell anyone, don't tell anyone. But all it, uh, with the, the helpful usage of the rod of shifting crust, we've been able to go ahead and do this. Oh, man, it's so great. Uh, we're also going to be moving the um, these guys here, our, our fission reactors. Uh, we're going to be moving these guys down here. I have cleared up some space for them. They're going to be going here. Uh, this whole room is just going to be dedicated to uh, this here. Uh, so it's been it's been pretty cool. Um, this is my, my concrete making. But uh, there's one big thing. Remember that top room I showed you guys was going to be like our, our central hub? I have kind of completed it. Um, I was going to record it, but I didn't really want to because I kept changing things. And it just it was really choppy, so I just ended up scrapping the recording. I want to show it to you guys. Boom. Here it is. This is going to be our basic, like, our, like where we do everything. So all of these are mirrored exactly to the other one. Um... We have our storage monitors here. We have a crafting grid. We have a crafting monitor, a pattern grid, fluid grid, and a crafting manager down here. Um, now this allows us to see things that are currently being crafted. This is obviously our, our grid here. This is our fluid grid when we do get our fluids uh, into here. Here's our crafting manager and our pattern grid where we can go ahead and make our, our, our patterns to start crafting. But yeah, so I did end up keeping this here, if you guys do remember. Uh, and I also sunk this down one just because when this was whole flat, it felt really plain. But this little indent, oh my goodness, it's like night and day. Uh, and then these are our little storage areas. Where we're going to have a massive amount of storage in here. Now uh, these have got access to the sky. I'm really a big fan of how this turned out. Like I love that. Um, the cool thing is this is all spawn proof. Nothing can spawn in here. Um, and yeah, these white plastic blocks are super duper cool. So if we come over here, uh, the white plastic blocks are from Mechanism. It's from the Mechanism Editions. Uh, but they use the HDPE sheets with um, like a, a certain die. And they, uh, they're they really cool. They're really expensive for early game. But um, we don't really have that problem. We automatically produce HDPE sheets here from potatoes. So we don't really have to worry about it. Uh, yeah, so I'm still kind of working on what we're going to be storing here. But these are all going to be connected. They're going to be their own separate thing. And these will be, in fact, connected uh, before we do finally turn on the um, the ore harvesters before um, before we get that activated. So, yeah, um, haven't done a whole lot of work in this room here. I have been trying to um, start here because these are all of our tier eights. I think I'm up, we're up to tier three now. Yeah, I'm just kind of kind of running these guys, uh, making sure we're because we're, they have power running. Um, I was also ch testing out this cable here, diversion transporter, but I think I'm going to scrap it. Um, but yeah, if we look here, so these are all the, yeah, the short three. So we can definitely upgrade to tier four, no problem. But this is the wall. This is the room. There's a little bit of structure here now. Uh, and I had to remove the drawer controller from down below and actually put it on the back because it couldn't reach the top. So now we actually have two different drawer controllers. Um, now these will be easy to connect up with external hard, uh, external um, device things, whatever. But now those are all being put into there. And then this is really for just grabbing the shards as they go by. We should have a bunch in here. Yeah. So these have been going for a while. They're much faster. And technically, these are filling up. Check here. We do have quite a bit of items. Uh, so yeah, super excited about that. But uh, guys, the main reason for today's video is we're going to be moving these. Uh, we're gonna basically just going to be tearing these down. And we eventually will be putting them here, but we're going to be putting our storage, our, our power storage right here and all four of these. So I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff prepared and we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and make the induction matrix. Uh, we're going to use the shell of our former reactor here. It'd probably be best if we just switched to vein mine. Um, so we're going to use this here to kind of give us a template of what we need to go ahead and build. So yeah, because uh, we're going to try to do it like an exact replacement. Yes. Oh my gosh. Can I just click that please? Thank you. Okay. 
So don't do that guy. Get that off my inventory. It's going to be bad. So this is five. Okay. So that's the middle. Got one, two, three, four. Ah, spider. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. All right, so what this basically acts like is a um, a big storage thing that holds a bunch of these uh, advanced induction cells, and the more you add in, the more power it holds. So yeah, this is what we're going to be replacing these with. I just think it'll look a little bit better and have a little bit more usage. There's going to be... Oh my gosh, I freaking hate how this places. Okay. Yep, so that does, in fact, work. Um, I don't know if we can put any windows on this. It would be kind of cool if we could, but let's go ahead and get inside here. Uh, so we're going to have it... Let's see... Yeah, so the input for power is going to be here. Output of power is going to be here. So let's go ahead and put these ports here. I believe we should be able to configure. Yes, okay. So that is output now. That's where we're going to be switching our turtle power to. Uh, so our reactor and all the other things will be coming in here. Through a different one, we're going to make it like a reactor channel or power channel. And then they'll be going out the other way. So we just put this guy in here, seal this up. That's not the right blocks. Seal this up. Ta-da! Look at that. So it's got uh, 25.6 uh, GFE. So yeah, that's just the, the way to th that here, but you can combine these together. So I actually want to go ahead and try and see if we can set up the automation to craft these because I want to fill up this entire thing. Now, I would really like it if we could have like a window, maybe the reactor glass window. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to see if we can get the reactor glass to work with it. So if we do that, we break this. Oh, <gasps> did that work? Oh, it works. We can use the reactor glass to go ahead and see into there. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to be working on finding out a way to automate this. But first off, we need to automate lithium because this is the first stage. So we do need to set up another site here. Um, so I think what we should do is I do have, I do have this room kind of cleared out. And I was originally planning on putting it here. So I think I actually will. So we're going to basically mirror um, this setup over Creeper. We're going to kind of mirror this, but then we're just going to have it kind of go here. It's not going to be this advanced, uh, and it's not going to, don't, like, don't worry about it. So, yeah, I also deactivated that, and then we changed this to this block. Block of Bionite. So yeah, uh, I've been doing a little bit of work off camera, but I'm going to go ahead and add those here. We're going to get uh, the lithium dust automated, and then we will work on automating everything else. All right, dudes and dudettes. So we uh, we, we did a bit of uh, worky here. Got to work and put the reactor glass in. I got one of these guys crafted up. Um, now we have currently 1.65 trillion FE that we can store. That is simply not enough because we are the Turtle Club and we don't like shenanigans. So I did end up finally getting this automated. Um, I want to show you guys the lithium room over in the reactor area. So I went to town on this. Very, very simple. I'm not even, not even going to put that wall up on here just yet. I will do that off camera. We've got the water coming in here just like normal, creating the brine. Got the brine going across, creating the, uh, the liquid with lithium. I almost said withium. And then we have the lithium coming into here into a rotary condensator. And then we got a chemical crystallizer, which turns it into lithium dust. And then we have an ultimate bin here. Uh, and then down below, uh, we just got a uh, external uh, storage device from the thing, the doohickey. But yeah, so that's set up. Lithium automated. Very easy setup. Um, and I'm also working on getting the, the glass finished out here. Soon this will be all covered. And then I'm just going to run stone brick down here for now until we ha until I have, like, a design I want to have in here. We might end up putting, like, some, like, you know, the tribal designs that used to be on, like, the, the Game Boys, uh, like the Game Boy Advances. People might do a few of those here. I uh, don't really know yet, but uh, one other thing, guys, is the, uh, the mob farm is really hurting our frame rate, and I don't know why. Um, look over here, we're getting, actually, that's where the mob farm is, but look over here, uh, we have way too much, 
um, stuff going on. We're getting 41 FPS, right? It's really low. We'll look over at the mob farm, and as you can see, as our FPS drops below 30, so it's really rough looking over here. Um, the issue is my computer is a bit older here, so it's not it's not going to run as as good as maybe your guys's. Um, but it's still a decent computer. But yeah, this thing for some reason is really lagging us. So what I might do is I might just end up throwing it kind of uh, like a hundred blocks that way and just chunk loading it, building it within a chunk boundary. Um, kind of like it is now. Yeah, see, this is most of this stuff is all located within one chunk. If we were to just like tear this down and move it and put it to where it was just all within one chunk, we could just chunk load that one area and uh, we would be good to go after that. But there's a phantom right there. He thinks he's cool. But we're going we're gonna to juke him out. So let's go ahead and add in those ultimate cells. I actually want to go ahead and get a few more of these guys crafted up here. Uh, so we type in cell, well, civil cell here. Perfect. Do we have enough for three now? Okay, so we need to automate steel. And why is immersive engineering steel in there? Um, we need to fix that. I need to find out where that, that one's coming from. But we need to automate steel next. Now, this really is our auto crafting room, as you can tell. So we might end up throwing it here. So this is going to be like uh, just getting everything automated so we can continue to um, like work on this. So we're going to go ahead and set up a very similar design to how this is uh, but it's going to be in a little different spot uh, but before we do that let's just go ahead here we're going to break you i don't know i did three and then we're just going to go one two three here put the glass back boom and now we have 6.45 trillion fe that we can store here um yeah so very cool we're going to go ahead we're going to get a a, uh, we're going to craft up two more. I keep looking over here for the, the crafting grid. It's crazy. And I'll be honest, guys, like of all the storage rooms I've made and modded Minecraft, this has got to be in like my top five I've ever made. Like I like just continue to look. I'm like, how did I know to put stairs here and then vertical half slabs? Like, like this is amazing. I also love these little areas, how we have this little little accent piece here. And then you can see under the sky, there won't be a level above this. Um, but it just looks so complete and I love it to death. And we also got the insulated glass worked into here. Ah, I just, I love it to death. We also got to go ahead and upgrade our, our guys up into the tier fours. Eventually they're still working. And if you guys are wondering how this continues to charge up, I've actually got a wireless like power thing here, um, from power. I'm going to be doing, a, we're going to be doing a video on this very soon here. Uh, but I have a player transmitter, which just basically wirelessly, uh, charges us all the time. Uh, so I will be doing a very in-depth video on this very shortly. Um, in, in this the Valhalla, we're going to set up a whole room for it, so don't you worry about that. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and work on the steel part here. So to create the steel from our mechanism here, we're, obviously we need to smelt it. But to get the steel dust, we need to infuse charcoal into enriched iron. Now the cool thing is we can make a heck ton of enriched charcoal. Um, if we look at enriched charcoal here, right? Or it's called enriched carbon, sorry. Uh, but this is just an enrichment chamber with um, with just that thrown into it. So let's go ahead. We're going to make an enrichment chamber. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, so we definitely need some steel automated, 100%. All right, so now I do have the mechanism upgrades. So we don't have to, like, do the whole the tier thing. So we don't have to do that let's see basic elite advanced where are you at purple there you are so t uh, step one obviously the enrichment chamber um that's weird hold up yeah as soon as we grab one there we go okay so we go green red blue purple okay so this thing's been maxed out let's go ahead and get some speed upgrades and some energy upgrades All right, now we just shift click these in. Energy upgrades are there. Speed upgrades are there. Boom, this one is good to go to go ahead and start making the enriched carbon. So all we'll need for this setup here is gonna be an exporter. We're gonna get a few of those and then we're gonna get some coal. Perfect. So that's what we'll do when we set that one up. Now we have that, so then, and, and the use is here. Um, Infused, yes. So to get the enriched iron here, we need a metallurgic infuser to go ahead and turn it into that with more carbon. So we're going to be splitting it off. And then enriched iron, 
We put into another. Okay, so we're gonna need two metallur a metallurgic infusers. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get these bad boys upgraded. I did just reboot the server and it's been acting kind of wonky ever since I did. I might need to check into an update. Perfect. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Now these have been maxed out. Uh, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have more than one of those, but we're just going to have one for now because I don't think we'll be using the the enriched carbon that much. Um Yeah, and there's a chance I'll be setting up two of these. So we're going to need a bin. Uh, we're not going to go for a bin of that caliper. Uh, this is already at this tier, so we'll go ahead. We'll bring it up to a blue tier for our steel. Okay. Oh, we forgot to... Oh, I threw those in there. Get some speed upgrades on these fools. All right, speed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Energy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this guy is good to go. Oh, I forgot to grab the second speed. All right, so these dudes are good to go. All right, now we have the amount of exporters that we need. We're going to go ahead and grab an iron ingot. That is importante. Uh, we're getting very close, guys, to actually being able to just let the let our processing system run wild uh, because I do believe all the stuff that's going to be coming out of it does have a spot to go. And these, these have all been set to the, the, a very high priority if we break up the back here. We go on back here, as you can see, uh, we do, oh, I fall down. We have a external storage device here. The priority has been set to 50. I don't know if that's higher than the other ones, uh, but so it should start throwing the items into here once once we start having them flow in, which is what we want. All righty. So we've got all of those. I'm pretty sure all we just need is the transport cables. Yep, and then we just get the universal cables. I'm starting to learn all the names of these. Um, yeah. So we should be good to go. All right, let's go ahead and get this far departed. Okay, so this might take a few tries to get right. Um, yeah, so we're actually going to move this over just a little bit. So how many? I want this to be kind of like a, a good corner to kind of mirror it. So we have one, two, the thing. Uh, so this comes back to here. Uh, and then we have a block here. Let's see. So if we go diagonal from this point, one, two, three. So one, two, three, and then back one like that. But I do want this to look very similar to how this is set up. Um, so we're going to go up one more block. Two more blocks. Actually, that is where we want the metallurgic infuser to be. Um, oh, wait. We want this to be up one more, actually, because we're going to have two of them. Yeah. Infusing factory and fusing factory okay so this will go here this will go here all right so that's gonna that's gonna be how it looks we're gonna have one on the other side mirroring it as well let's go ahead and break this very vital and then for the item display i haven't really thought about that we're gonna put this here for now and then after i get the the thing built around it we'll go ahead and start working on that but then we also need the enriching factory very close um So we're going to probably have items coming in on all sides. Um, this top one here is going to expor export the items 
let's see, we're just going to do this, uh, output the bottom, eject. All right, and then for here, we're just going to do this. We're going to do input from the top, and then we're going to eject the items. Perfect. The reason why these have charge in here is because of this charging thing that I have going on underneath the base over there, right up there. Uh, that's charge That charges all the items in our, our inventory. Okay, so the metallurgic infuser, uh, I believe from the back, is where we want to go ahead and pull that item. Or yeah, so the infusing types here, yes. Input um, from the back. Wait a second. Set to energy. Let's get to items. I mean, I guess we can have that set to items, right? Okay. So this here, left side, is the output. Won't worry about anything else. Eject is on. Um, this will have an exporter down below. This is set to coal. And then this will have an exporter here. This is set to iron. Uh, so then, if we throw the iron in there, if we throw the coal in here, this will process. Okay, eject on. So this is for the back and fuse types. Okay, guys, so it turns out you have to set the, the items for the extra. Um, the yellow one. So if we look over here, they finally went through all the carbon. It was taken out of here. This one just needs power and it should be good to go. Um, but yeah, majority of this should be ready. Um, so we're going to be taking out from the bottom here. We actually don't need these two. So this thing is going to be a very slim design. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead, set this to, uh, let's see, output from the bottom. And then just to start testing it out, we'll go ahead and do that. Whoops, not that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we should have power over here somewhere. Ooh, this is ugly power. Um, let's run a cable to... Well... Well, I guess that works. Okay. Yep, so as you can see, it's, it's starting to input now. It looks like, though, the bottom one is going to get the priority, which is kind of lame, uh, but it's all right, really. So let's go ahead and get some cable from refined storage. There we go. Perfect. Oops, too far. Going the wrong way. I need to find a way to color code these. I might just have like a strip of carpet here for each one. That way I'll just be able to tell which where we need to go pretty much. Um, so let's see here. To keep this as slim as possible, we will just run a cable like this. Boom. And then we can run a cable here. Oh wait, yep. Don't need this guy. Perfect. Boom. Okay. That's live. This is producing stuff. Uh, oh, this is supposed to be importing. Yeah, like that. So now this is going. This should be receiving items 
from the top. Bam. Sort on. Sort on. Oh, we need to put a... Yep, we have made a grave mistake. We need to put a, um, a smelter here. A smelting machine. Alright. All right, so let's go ahead and make a ultimate energy or ultimate smelting factory here. This is getting a charge, as you see here from our system. Uh, so all we're gonna do is lower this, or actually just put this in here. Wow, this is easier than I thought. Input from the top, output the side, eject on. So now we have steel automated, guys. Oh, yeah. So then all we do here, bam. Yeah, that turn, that's going to turn out great. So we have all, all the view of all of these smelting, um, all of this. So look, as you can see, the carbon is going up here. Carbon's maxed out on the bottom. This one's getting filled up. Um, yeah, this is great. So let's go ahead um, and we're going to get some speed upgrades for our exporters. Uh, we need some different speed upgrades. Perfect. Oh, let's go ahead and make some stack upgrades then. Ooh, yeah. All right. All right, so first off, how are you doing? Yeah, you're kind of hurting. Stack upgrade is already awesome. But let's go ahead here and throw in these speed upgrades, and boom, look at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look how fast that's filling up. boom, 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 boom. All right, and now we're gonna be working on the iron. We do a stack upgrade. How you doing? Oh, look at all that. Now we do some speed. I am speed. Look at that. It's keeping up. Oh, it's so good. How are we doing over here? Look at that. It's, it's more than fast enough for it. So cool. Look at that. We already got all of that here. This spider's pissing me off. Where you at, Spoder? You are no more. All right. Now I'm going to guess... I missed. Oh, I was one corner off. So that is where we're going to put an external storage array. We can just run a cable pretty much like this. Bam, look at that. Freaking stupid. I need to clear out this whole bottom section, but I don't have... I don't, I, I don't want to take the time to do it because I don't know what to put down there. All right, so that has now been connected to our system here. As you can see, the external storage is there. It connects in. So we now have steel automated, guys. So uh, obviously, this is not going to be where it uh, stays there. I'm going to go ahead and try to mirror this this look quite a bit, and then we're going to mirror this on the other side, and then we'll be good to go, and then we'll start working on the other automation, auto-crafting things, like getting smelting, like things that need to be smelted, crafted, stuff like that. Um, so yeah. 
The rest of it will be the auto crafting area. We're going to be moving these two setups over to that uh, quadrant over there because these are really our ore processing stuff. Uh, so they're not needed here. So we need to actually move them over there. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap up the episode for today, guys. Um, just kidding. All right, so let's go on up to here and see about getting one of these crafted up. So if I were to do 10. All right, so we still need a whole bunch of steel to be automated. Uh, and then we need to find out where the immersive engineering steel is coming from because that is not supposed to be there. Um, let's have a look at this one. I can't really see it. It's kind of annoying. And so we need these to not be exact when we're creating the recipe. Not exact. We're going to use our steel, though, just to be safe. All right. So you can just write over the patterns if you guys didn't know. Uh, so now we're looking for steel casing. Okay. Pattern. Reinforced alloy. Energy tablet, gold ingot. Okay, so let's see if we if that, that still pops up. Yeah, so somewhere along the lines, one of these is requesting it. Let me do some research here. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I've actually just taken all of the patterns out associated with the cells here, uh, and we're just going to go ahead and recreate them. I, I've unchecked the exact one. So we're going to start here um, with these. The tablets are actually okay, so we're going to start with the steel casing. Uh, we're going to remove all of those. Uh, let's get our steel out just to be si Come on. Okay. So there we go, mechanism, that guy, um, then we need this one here, okay, so these, I left these because these are fine, all right, so now we move up to this one, we're going to need, okay, so we're just going to work on the cells right now, so... Red cell... Blue cell, purple cell, okay. All right, now what are these called? Okay, so we have the basic energy cube already there. Let's go ahead and get this guy. Then this guy. Then purple. Okay. So that should be all of them. We're going to start here. Go here. No. I have to be car very careful as shift clicking. Okay, so that should be all of them. Now when we type in cell, go like this, say 64. Why are you like this? Why are you still here? Okay, okay, look, okay, okay. For some reason, I think it was trying to fill in both of them then because it realized we had it. So we're going to find all the steel we have. Um, yeah, but this will allow us to make 10. Unfortunately, these 10 are very slow. Uh, but there we go. That seemed to work. Yeah, that is crafting. Yep, yep, everything's looking good. Perfect. All right, so we got that auto crafting there, guys. We're going to go ahead and add 10 more energy cells to this area. I will go ahead off camera. I will set up the new quantum link channels. Uh, so this is going to be the turtle power. 
That's where it's all going to be coming from. And then we're going to be like uh, Power Gen is going to be the new channel. And that's where we're going to switch all of our Power Generation channels to. So the windmill, all of that will all be feeding into that Power Generation channel. So what the, the power will actually do is the power will be put into here. And then we'll be taken out of this site here for all of the things that need power. So it doesn't take a whole lot of setup to go ahead and switch over, but it is awesome. All right, guys. So it turns out there's an issue with our power cell down here. Um, for some reason, it won't let us put power in, and I believe I have found out why. So we do need one of these ultimate induction providers. Now these, if we do shift N, it says an advanced complex of coolant systems, conductors, and transformers capable of expanding the energized induction matrix maximum rate of energy transfer. Uh, so we need, we need those. Um, so we're going to go ahead here. We're going to set up some auto crafting for it because I'm lazy. All right. So here you go. Here you go. Here you go. And here you go. So it's a probably also time that, oh man, we need to get that automated as well. Okay. I made two of those. Okay, so all of those are good to go now. I'm just going to add them in the line. And the reason we do it like this is so it doesn't have to wait on the previous craft to start the next craft. I can just get the items that are crafted and then just start crafting them up. Okay, so let's see how much we're going to need for this provider. Cool, we can go ahead and craft it up. Very sweet. Okay, so we're going to add that into our cell, and that should allow us to start getting power in. And then we are good to go after that. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been your buddy Super Turtle, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.